after that tough win over Clemson, Marshall's players no doubt said, give us liberty and we'll give you a blowout. And that's exactly what happened. After the herd recovers a fumble, Marshall's offense marches it right down the field. Pennington will throw on first down. Over the middle, he's got, got a spot. man. That's Nate Poole who gets rocked at the eight yard line. Doug Chapman from one yard away. Call swing. That's Chapman looking for some room on the left side. Doug Chapman finds the corner of the end zone. Seven nothing herd. Still in the first quarter. Pick up some heat. And all over it is Paul Tobiesi and they will have to kick it away. Marshall quarterback Chad Pennington finds John Cooper. Cooper does the rest from 40 yards away, his first career touchdown catch. The onslaught continued. Chad Pennington from one yard out with the rushing touchdown. Rarity for the senior, 21-0 Marshall lead. Still in the second, and again from the one. This time, Pennington finds Nate Poole for the touchdown. 28-0. The Herd has put this one away. Oh, but still more work to do just before halftime. Yeah, plenty of time. He's going to the corner. Got his bam. It is caught by David Foy. Touchdown. This time, Pennington, 29 yards to David Foy. 35-zip the score at halftime. The Flames would pay for their only score after a field goal. They kick off to James Williams. There's James Williams. He gets outside. Still on his feet. James Williams. He can burn. He's gone. James Williams. Can they catch him? Touchdown for the guy they call Fly Williams. 93 yards, the official yardage. Undoubtedly the most electrifying kickoff return for a touchdown in Marshall Stadium history. Marshall's defense would not permit the Flames even a sniff at the end zone. Ralph Street on the sack of quarterback Christian Newsom. And then maybe the most memorable defensive play of the game, maybe of the season, Bobby Addison and Newsom head on. Newsom is knocked out of the game. So with the score 49-3, time for the young guys to shine. Chanston Rogers takes it left side for three yards. 56 to three, and Josh Lord sets the final score with a five yard touchdown run. 63-3 the final, the herd puts out the flames. A spectacular Saturday night for football in Huntington, West Virginia. Marshall entertaining Bowling Green, hoping to reach three and zero on the season. Twenty-nine thousand seven hundred forty-one herd fans on hand, and Marshall's defense got into the act quickly. John Grace introduces Ricky Schneider to the Astro Turf. Twelve tackles on the night for Amazing Grace. But the Falcons would get on the board first. Jason Strasser with the field goal, and the Falcons lead it three nothing. Maybe that was the wake-up call the herd beat. Doug Chapman tries the left side. And finds a lot of room to the outside. A big chunk of his 81 yards rushing on the evening. And then quarterback Chad Pennington, not known for his adroit scrambling, confounds the Bowling Green defense here. 11 yards to Nate Poole. And Marshall's defense giving Ricky Schneider and the Falcon offense fits. This time, again, can you say grace? And the rest of the linebacking core doing its job as well. Andre O'Neill with 13 tackles, forces the fumble here, but the Falcons recover. The defense rests, having done its job. And then Lowe Turner, you've heard of determination and want to. Turner from 17 yards out gives Marshall a 14-3 lead. Marshall's defense back on the field, and that danger field defense, as Gerardi Mercer calls it, picks up five sacks. This one by Paul Tobiesi. The Bowling Green defense could not return the favor. Chad Pennington, little swing pass to Doug Chapman, and Chapman goes deep into Bowling Green territory. 
from the 20 yard line. Chad Pennington into the corner to James Williams. And the herd takes a 21-10 lead over Bowling Green. After another Falcon field goal, Chad Pennington finds Nate Poole for seven yards. And the Thundering Herd with a 28-13 halftime lead over Bowling Green. Second half, Pennington and Poole hook up again. Nate Poole with seven catches, 126 yards. And the Herd sets up camp deep in Bowling Green territory. From there, the Herd essentially puts it away. And remember this name, Brian Greenleaf, and watch him work. A 17-yard touchdown catch that was all Greenleaf. Marshall now with a huge advantage, 35-16. From there, Trod Bugs and the Hurt defense do the rest. Watch Marshall defensive back Maurice Hines play wide receiver. The interception, the defense would give no ground, and Marshall wins it 35-16 and moves to 3-0 on the season. Visitors from the East in game four, the Temple Owls. Out of the Big East Conference, get a look at the best the Mid-American Conference has to offer. On a gorgeous night for football, 30,194 watch as the Owls enter the Temple of Doom. Marshall's offense gets cranked up very quickly. Chad Pennington, surgeon-like precision, 26 of 36, 406 yards passing on the evening. The Herd advancing and very quickly opens up a 7-0 lead. James Williams in the corner of the end zone. The Herd and the crowd sending a message. Marshall would put this one away early. With help from the defense, of course, the Owls could find nowhere to go. Temple, 28 carries, 28 yards on the night. And Marshall's defense did not discriminate. Not only was the Herd stingy against running backs, but Devin Scott finds the going tough. Another stellar night for Nate Poole. 10 catches, 179 yards. Marshall is on the move again. From the 13-yard line, Doug Chapman finds the quickest way to the end zone right up the middle. Her leads it now 14-0. And the only negative to come out of this night, defensive end Ron Pugy tears his ACL. Amazingly, he would return to play another day. And he's taken down by Doug Hodges. The rest of the defense takes up the slack. Hodges on the sack. And again, Devin Scott finds nowhere to go. Andre O'Neill is there. Now he has to get out. Oh, he's got his man. Low Turner. Low Turner inside the 10. Touchdown. Low Turner from 47 yards. That Turner touchdown gives Marshall a 21-0 lead, a lead the Hurt takes into the locker room. It was a night when the stars were out in the sky and on the field. The young thundering Hurt, the heroic members of that team in 1971, which won two games and kept Marshall football alive after the tragic plane crash. Must have served as inspiration as Nate Poole and Chad Pennington hook up right out of the gate in the third quarter. That play worked so well, Pennington thought he'd go right back to Poole for the touchdown. Pennington, plenty of time, Nate Poole. Had it, caught it, touchdown. That one gives Marshall a four touchdown advantage, 28-0. This one pretty much put away into the books. But the defense, not done yet. Devin Scott still running for his life and nowhere to go. Ralph Street and Alonzo Jones are there. Once again, the defense is case overwhelming. The offense does its job. The only thing left is for the Herd to put its signature on its fourth straight win, 34-0, a whitewash of Temple. <laughs> 